What's up guys and gals? On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to install a Cat6A wall jack. By installing a Cat6A wall jack, you'll now have a 10 gig connection coming out of the wall. And you will need Cat6A cables for this installation. And remember, if you want 10 gig internet speeds, as well as 10 gig network speeds, you're gonna need 10 gig compatible hardware, as well as a high speed fiber connection, which means you're gonna need a lot of money because a 10 gig fiber connection is very expensive and upgrading all your hardware can be very expensive. So just a heads up. So let's take a look at the Cat6A wall jack. What you get is the Cat6A wall jack, you get the cap that goes on top, and you get a zip tie, and that's it. And of course this does come with the instructions as well as the wiring diagram. And we're gonna use the T568B configuration. So let's get started. Oh, and guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the algorithm. Thanks. So here are the supplies and tools you're gonna to need for this installation. And everything is listed in the description below. So first, you need to strip back about two inches of the protective sheath of the Cat 6A cable. Next, you wanna reveal all the wires, then cut off this plastic inner core. We have three. So there are two installation options, a tool-free option or a crimp tool option. We're gonna to show you how to use the tool-free option. It's the easiest. For the tool-free option, we're gonna use this white wire cap. It's already color-coded for the correct wire configurations. And it has both A and B. And we're gonna use B. So after you slide the wires through the cap, simply match up the wire colors to the color codes on the cap. So at the bottom, it goes white, blue, blue, white, green, green. Remember, Cat6A copper cable does not have the typical white, blue. It's just white, as you can see right here. At the top, it's white, orange, orange, white, brown, brown. Make sure the wires are seated all the way down and trim off any excess wires. After you trim off any excess wires, we'll connect the cap to the wall jack. It simply snaps on. You want to press the wire cap as far as it can go. And then you want to close the hinge door. Now this takes some strength. The hinge door has to snap all the way closed. Then once it's snapped closed, use the provided zip tie to secure the wire to the keystone jack. Then next, connect the wall jack to the wall plate. It simply snaps in. And now we can plug a Cat6A cable into the wall jack. And you probably noticed that Cat6A wall jacks have a hinged door on the front. But don't worry, just snap in the Cat6A and you're all good. And now you have a 10 gig connection coming out of your wall jack. Pretty cool. And that's it guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sake, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.